All right. So we prepared this background the other day, and now we're going to work on all the rest of it. So, get all my stuff ready here. Oops. So basically, we'll be using four colors, blue and crimson, which we'll leave on the palette now. Well, I'm not counting black. We'll be using black at some point, but bright red. Let's see. I hope I have some left in this tube. We may, we may not. I don't know. Oh, yeah. Plenty. All right. Blue. Now, let's see. Question is, what color blue do I want to use? I want to use. I'll probably use two different shades of blue, but or maybe I won't. Maybe I use one shade of blue. I think I'll use. I think I'll use thalo. It's pretty powerful, but I think I can make this work with thalo blue and some titanium white. So let's start off. Let's start off with the red. Let's get the let's get the umbrella kind of marked in here. Now I'm not adding any medium to the canvas yet. I may, but all right. So I think I will. I think it'll make it go a lot easier if I do. Where's my little cups? Don't have any, so let's use a plate. We'll just use a plate. Now this lady is, as you may have guessed, based on my color choices, is not going to be like the lady in red. But I think this will flow easier like this. Very dark on this corner where I sketched this. I'm sort of kind of right here in the beginning, kind of glazing this on. But we may change that in a little while. We'll see. Let's see how this idea of mine goes. We'll probably just layer additional coats on as we get get closer to finalizing it because this is really we're kind of blocking this in I'm not too concerned at this point about the building showing through the umbrella. Alright. And I'm not really all that worried about there being um, too much of um, too much of that showing through. I can I can always add more coats and 
and darken that on out if I, if I want to. If I decide that's what I want to do. All right. Now, the whole rest of this young lady is going to be laid out in whites and blues, including her dress and actually including her legs. So let's get some of that done. And we will start off by adding the titanium white first. Kind of like the white, we're gonna lay this in with just a minimum medium, but some medium. Little painter girls at work today, so she and I were kind of talking about this painting quite a bit the other day. But uh, she had to work today, so you gotta eat, you gotta eat. I'm gonna, before, rather than going on down in her legs, I'm gonna go ahead and work on some of this other stuff with this blue. Now I'm adding just a touch of blue, just a touch. Don't want, to get, don't want to get a crazy, crazy, crazy amount of blue going, but I am going to get some going. Let that blue to follow her body contour. And then down here it's going to kind of lighten up. You have to work blending these paints a little more than, than you do when they're just you're throwing medium up there. And I'm taking my time. I'm not trying to get you know, all this blended at one time. Carry that.
Okay. Let's take a moment and move to the, to black. Now flatten this. Brush down really flat. Just to crease these lines. In some cases, they're going to be more like shading than actual definitive lines. So we've kind of let, let that paint sit up just a little bit. Set up, not sit up. It kind of sounded like I said sit up, but that, that wasn't what I said. And if it was what I said, it wasn't what I meant to say. Here we go. All right, we're just thinning some of these lines back by adding more paint. Like that. All right, now I'll let that go for a little bit. Oh, you know what? I'll tell you what. Let's, as long as we're working with the red, let's go ahead and put this. There's two ribbons here. It lead back to her dress. It's kind of blowing in the wind. Come around, around her waist. There's some blue accent here. Uh, I think maybe a little bit of them. Let's use stark sienna. I don't want to make this too dark, but I need to add a little bit of darkness to her legs, I think, to make it. Alright, let's get tone we just want to tone down that. Set the brush aside for a second. Let's move to. I'll move to this script liner. We'll take most of the medium out of it. Mix some of this brown and this blue together, and let's kind of see how that works. Don't mess this curve up too much because I'm going to make her look bow legged or something. And I think this line over here is going to. Very, very fine line. Before we start bringing in the white. We'll see about that in a second, I guess. All 
All right, let's clean that brush. We'll start adding the lighter color, which will be kind of this bluish white. Let's start adding that in. I think it's more blue. There we go. All right, let's add just a little more blue in a few places here. Here on our by the umbrella. And I kind of want to darken this arm. Yeah. All right, so we're going to try to lay this red in on top of this. Let's see how this goes. Actually, that worked out pretty good. Clean the brush. Now we're just going to use the same script liner and kind of blend a little bit. Let's blend this a little bit. Soften up some of the brush strokes. Some highlights to this umbrella. Let's clean that brush.
And then maybe some. Let's clean the brush a little bit. There we go. Just a little. And I think on these on these darker lines, we'll add a little bit of. Just a little bit of highlight like this. All right. Let's finish up with the the rain accents now. So let's get to I think I'll use this fan brush. I think I'll start off with white, which has also got some blue in it. Clean the brush one last time. <coughs> Excuse me. My allergies have been just like, ugh. All right. The brush is nice and clean, pretty dry. Now we're just going to take this and just kind of smooth this out. See, can I do it with this brush? I could probably do with this brush. I think I want to add a little bit more blending to this dress. Not too much. Just a little bit. Okay. All right, we're going to call it quits from there. I think we're done. I think we'll call this one done. All right, guys, thanks for following along. We'll see you on the next one.